Okay, hey everybody in 333, um, this was your, I promised you a longer video to kind of explain things. So this is, this is what that is and I will try to not make it too long. Um, so here I am in my home office, which actually is completely pulled apart right now because my husband is making me some really beautiful new shelves. So behind me um, used to be full of books. Now all the books are stacked in the living room. Um, so some of my children's books are down there, but uh, everything else is a kind of a mess. Hopefully the next time I have video, beautiful new shelves. I figure if I'm going to work from home for potentially a year, then the space has to look better. So I hope you're carving out a cool spot. I know it can be hard. Um, I'm super excited to see, and this happens every time I teach this class, particularly since it's distance learning, is um, some of you have already jumped in and started to do the introductions. And so Maria and Myra and Ashley, which is also my daughter's name, so easy to remember Ashley. Um, and I think Christy all have uh, introductions and insights into their literacies up on our current community. And oh my God, the feed is already just full of all these cute pictures of little kids. And I so appreciate you all sharing your, um, you know, insights into your families and your literacies. It also kind of touches me because um, I also was a returning parent once upon a time. It's been a long time ago now, but um, I also, like many of you, went back to school when my kids started kindergarten. So back in 1995, I finished up my bachelor's and then ended up doing my master's and deciding to go do a PhD at Berkeley with two little kids. And um, so I just feel for you, you know, trying to balance, you know, work and children. And um, I, I got to say, I'm a little bit grateful that mine are now 29 and 30, uh, especially in this moment in time. Hope you're all safe um, and healthy and your families are safe and healthy. Um, as I record this, the wildfire fires are raging in every part of our state, com you know, adding to already complicated times. So just know I've got a lot of compassion and empathy and you should reach out because I'm willing to help and you just let me know what you need. We will hopefully make this a little joyful corner of a complicated world. Um, by engaging in ideas about reading and writing with little kids, which is just the best. Um, so quickly, I will um, plug in here a little walkthrough. Actually, I think I might end this video with a little walkthrough of the website, just where you can find things. But from the front of that website, you can find connections to our current community and our current make cycles. And that's how our class is organized. As I've written on the site, if you've looked, every two weeks, I release a new what I call a make cycle and in our case it'll be focused on some kind of honing in on some element of writing. I don't actually think of writing as that tidy. So you're gonna see that um, like it's organized by narrative and storytelling and argumentative and multimodal and expository. I, don't, I think writing is all those things. I actually think any piece of writing is an argument and a story and expository. But for the purposes of teaching writing, sometimes it can be helpful to pull those elements apart and think about them more specifically. So that's why kind of the focus. So every week you can count on the fact that we'll do some reading in our book about the authors, which I think you'll really like and we'll do some discussions around that. We'll read some mentor texts, um, usually children's books. I'll share videos of people reading those. Um, and we're gonna pull out some ideas from those readings that we might use in our own writing or in our teaching of writing. And then we'll end each two weeks by making something with writing. Um, huge range of stuff we'll make. We'll write poems, we'll create short stories, we'll do art, we'll do all kinds of ways of thinking about what we can make and I think of writing as making um, and kids love to make stuff you'll notice in the first chapter of that book that one of the things they do those teachers is um, bring all kinds of materials to a table for kids scissors and glue and construction paper and glitter all these these things that you can make stuff with and every kid understands what to do with that, um, how, how to actually make. And if you think of writing as making, it can make it not quite so uh, daunting because writing's hard. Um, as I said to somebody on their post already, maybe Myra, that I, uh, I like, I don't like writing. I like having written. 
and and that's kind of I had an article come out yesterday actually in a journal and it feels really good to have written and put something out there in the world so that's our routine um, you should reach out to me if you get stuck getting into currents or if you you know can't find something you need the book within a couple of weeks um, I think we read it the starting the week of right after Labor Day September 7th and we will read the whole thing we'll read every word but I think you'll again you'll like it it's a book you'll keep on your shelf as a future teacher um, I think that's all I need to say for now it's enough probably complicated information you've got an introduction and some riff off your literacies and the future of literacies due um, by Wednesday this week uh, that's the 26th and then you have some reading TED talk and some responses due by Friday usually our routine will be Wednesday Sunday Wednesday Sunday or Sunday Wednesday Sunday it's usually the routine of these make cycles um, when I say it's due on Wednesday, I just mean by like midnight that night. And quite frankly, if you posted it at one o'clock in the morning, I'll still read it the next day. So don't stress of like, oh God, I this is at 12.15. Especially parents, I know sometimes you just have to find, you know, when that fits in your life. Um, so don't, don't stress about that. I, it helps me if you kind of can keep the pace and not be late all the time because I'm trying to get all these responded to but um, I'm, I'm gonna be really flexible and I just want you to be able to think about the ideas so yeah I'm excited I love this class it's it's seriously like a little joy we're gonna read kids writing and read kids books like it, it won't suck it'll be awesome so thanks everybody I'm gonna I think in the video with a little walkthrough of the website and then you email me if you have any questions and I will watch for your introductions to come on the Currents community. Yay.